And good evening, everyone. I'm Colleen Williams. We are closer to it being a done deal. The proposed contract now approved by the leadership of the WGA. And tonight we're getting our first look at what's actually in this new contract. NBC4's Robert Kavasik once again on the story. Robert, what do we know and doesn't this still have to be ratified by the rank and file? It still has to be ratified, Colleen, but after almost five months when Hollywood has been completely shut down, things are moving in a very positive direction. We have got a lot to catch you up on, and it all has to do with the WGA and their boards meeting this afternoon here on the West Coast, WGAW, as you see behind me, and on the East Coast. What happened, as we told you was going to happen last night on the NBC4 News at 11, those two governing boards got together and they approved the agreement that was reached with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. Now, take a look at some of what they wrote to their membership. They said not only have they approved the agreement that can be sent to members to be voted on, they're allowing writers to go back to work, which means the strike effectively ends for the WGA, the Writers Guild of America, as of midnight tonight. At 12.01 this morning, they can go back to work. Also, what they wrote to their membership when they talked about the minimum basic agreement. Voting, Colleen, will begin from October 2nd to October 9th. As soon as those votes are tallied, that means the strike is really over, and these writers have full reign to go back to work. So what's going to happen now that writers can go back to work? Well, late night talk shows and daytime talk shows, those are probably going to be the first writers back in their offices tomorrow. You can expect daytime talk shows to be up first, possibly as early as next week, and then late night talk shows may follow immediately after that. Also, what was sent to the 11,500 members of the WGA this afternoon, Colleen, finally the details of the agreement. What the WGA told them was an exceptional deal, and here's why. Going into this deal, the, the, the writers wanted three major things. They wanted protection from artificial intelligence, AI. They wanted minimum staffing on shows, which means there's a guarantee that a certain number of writers will be uh, absolutely given a spot uh, on writer staffs. And then they wanted some sort of residual payment from streaming. And they got all three addressed, uh, which is huge, which was not expected at the start of this strike. So uh, the, the fact that all three of the major issues that they wanted to be addressed were addressed is a big win for the WGA. A big win for the WGA. And now the Screen Actors Guild is up next. They have issues very similar to the WGA, including the use of artificial intelligence and streaming residuals. Michael Schneider, who is a longtime television editor for Variety, said that this really does provide a blueprint, and he is very optimistic. He said with the momentum here right now in Hollywood that a deal can get done. Colleen? Well, is there a timeline on a deal with SAG-AFTRA, Robert? Uh, do we know when they're even going back Excellent. to the bargaining table? Excellent question, Colleen. It is what everybody has been talking about. The speculation wheel has begun, and we don't want to mislead anybody, especially with so many people who have been unemployed for so long. Our insiders tell NBC4 late tonight that throw the speculation out the window. As of this point, and I'm quoting here, there is no date on the calendar. However, they are confident that within the next week, the next two to three weeks, they will sit down at the bargaining table. We asked Michael Schneider. Michael said he believes it is possible that Hollywood could be up and running, that SAG could get a deal on the table, let their members go back to work while it is being ratified by the end of October. And that is very optimistic, but that is a very positive sign for so many who worried that this strike was going to go on into the new year. If it's Hollywood is up and running at the end of October, Colleen, production begins, and you could start to see new shows on the air by the beginning of January. Michael Schneider and I play this game about what's Variety's headline tonight, if he had to write it. And Colleen, I think he summed it up best. He said, sigh of relief, Hollywood is finally getting back to work. Live in the Fairfax District, I'm Robert Kovacic. Colleen, let's go back to you.